Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Bone here. And today you are in the middle of practicing and learning about something super cool, which is perimeter. You get to get your hands on some rulers, get to do some measuring, then you get to throw some adding in there. I know we all love adding. And once we get to used to a ruler and how to hold it and how to sort of turn it around and all that stuff to sort of measure all the sides, because that can be a little tricky. Once we get used to that, it can be really fun to measure stuff. Trust me, Ms. Bone still brings a ruler with her when she goes shopping. Because before I buy that mirror or before I buy that picture frame, I just like to measure it. That's all. It's fun. Okay. So um, today you guys are looking at a slide that has even better a virtual ruler on it. And like I said, when we're working with our hands, even twisting a ruler can be tricky. So as we know, it seems like remote learning has made lots of things even trickier. So I'm gonna sort of walk you through how to twist and turn this, um, either the shape or the ruler to make sure you're measuring all the sides correctly. Cause we know when we measure perimeter, we're measuring around the out side of a shape. So we measure each side, we add them all together. Voila, there's our perimeter. The total distance around the outside of a shape, a polygon, quadrilateral, parallelogram, square, rectangle, whatever you decide to call it that day. Okay, so when you're working in your slide today, you wanna make sure that you click, and we've seen this before, you wanna click on what you're moving around, okay? So I think I'm gonna move the ruler around on this slide. You could also move the shape to flush it up against the ruler, but I think because even with our hands, it can get kind of tricky getting used to moving the ruler around. Let's move the ruler around today. So we're gonna need to measure the sides of this square here. I know it's a square because it has four equal sides, four right angles. So I'm gonna click on my ruler. And if you can see on my screen, there's this little blue ball kind of hanging out up top. And as you can see, whee, if I click on that blue, blue ball and spin around, I can move this ruler and rotate it however I like. So I'm gonna click on it. And the first thing I need to do is line it up next to my square. So I'm gonna move it first. I'm not gonna touch the blue ball now. First, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna get it right about here. I'm gonna move it to be near my square. But I can't measure it like this. It's not flush up against the side, right? It's not pushed right up against the side. So now I'm gonna take this little blue ball and I'm going to start to rotate it. And you can start to see how the edge of the ruler sort of moving around. Now I moved it too much. It was behind my shape. So I'm gonna click on it again and move it out of the way. Then I'm gonna try to rotate that ruler a little bit more till I can get it flush. Not quite, it's not quite flush up against that square. So I think I'm gonna click on that blue ball i rotate it up, oh, now it's around. See, this is tricky, boys and girls, it's tricky. Take your time. Uh, I think I got it. What do you think? Let's look at the screen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think I got it. Now, really important, boys and girls, I'm not gonna measure yet, because even though my ruler is flush up, is aligned with the, the side of the square that I'm trying to measure, I did something wrong. Can anybody see what I did wrong? Think about the numbers on the ruler. That's right, I heard someone say it. I did not line up the beginning of the square with the zero. I had it lined up way over here. So that's not where zero is. That puts me in the negative. So boys and girls, make sure when you're measuring anything, you start on the zero. Now, sometimes the zero is at the very end. So you can start at the very end of the ruler. But in this case, 
the zero is not at the very end. It's like this much inside of the ruler. So I'm gonna make sure to move that ruler so that the zero is aligned with the corner, the vertex of the first side that I would like to measure. And as I can see, if I start at zero and I count my centimeters, the end of this side is at three. So this side is, go down here, type it in, three centimeters. And boys and girls, this is a square. What do we know about squares? They have four equal sides. So if one side is three centimeters, what does that tell you about the rest of the sides? What does equal mean? It means the same. So maybe you don't even have to measure the rest of the side. But also if what I'm saying is totally confusing to you, mess around with this ruler and measure if you must. Rotate and move. And get that ruler over here. Yeah, I like to mess with the ruler. I like to play with the ruler. It's fun. And it gives me good practice for, look, look how fast I was the second time. That's because every time you do something, you get a little bit better and better and better at it. So now I'm already lined up and I can measure this side of the square. This side of the square, I've got it lined up with the zero. Well, look at that. This side of the square is also three centimeters. So I'm gonna pop that three on my next side. And you know what? Still wondering if anybody's catching on that squares have equal sides, but even if they don't, it's cool. Move your ruler around, boys and girls. Use that little blue dot to rotate it. Click and drag on it to move it so that you can measure all the sides of these polygons. Have fun, boys and girls. Good luck.